Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for coming today to the Stronger Together webinar from Alignable. The first thing I would like to do is welcome everyone here today. Uh, we have a bunch of you guys listening. Some cover what we're going to talk about today. So today I'm going to talk at you, hopefully for not too long, maybe like 20 minutes at most. I'm going to cover the topics that we'll go over in a second. The topics I'm going to cover. First thing, just what is alignable. A lot of you don't know. A lot of you probably got an invitation in the email from someone you know, maybe it was somebody you didn't really know, and it said, hey, you should join Alignable. It's this really great thing. And you said, okay, sounds kind of interesting. You signed up. You saw a whole lot of color, a whole lot of purple, a whole lot of buttons, and you weren't really sure what to do. And so you're like, oh, I'm going to sign up for this webinar and figure it out. So we're just going to talk really simple of what is alignable. But then more importantly, I'm going to talk about something uh, really core to why I think Alignable can be so great for everyone's business, and that is building a business network. You know, I, I've met a lot of small business owners, medium business owners who have a network that don't really think of it that way. Uh, and I've met a lot that don't, that are really isolated and don't have this network of peers and friends and partners to rely on. Um, and then most importantly, I'm gonna talk about how you would use that network to get more customers. Because I understand if you're gonna take time out of your day, which I really appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to me, you're doing it because you want to grow. You want to make more money. You want to hire that next person. You want to buy that next piece of equipment. You want to take your family on that next vacation. And you're only going to do that by getting more customers. And a network and a line is a really, really excellent way to do that. Then we're going to play my favorite game in the world called Stump Jeff, where you guys are going to try and come up with questions I can't answer. And we'll see if anybody does it. And then we're going to cover what to do next, great. So you've took this 20, 30 minutes, you've listened to us, you asked some questions, what are the next steps to really making the most of Alignable? Um, and the only other thing I wanna point out is what's not on this slide is there is no sales pitch. So Alignable does have kind of a premium plan for once you really start crushing it, if you wanna go even further. But everything we're talking about today is free. Alignable is a free social network that you can use. So you're not gonna, about to listen to a sales pitch. Don't worry about that. So. Diving right in. First topic, what is Alignable? One sentence, it's a community of over 4 million businesses. Uh, if that number sounds big, it is. It's enormous. We're very proud of it. We actually hit 4 million last week. So if you signed up around 11.30 p.m. Eastern time, you might have been uh, our 4 millionth business. Um, but what does that mean, right? First of all, businesses don't use the internet, people do. So who are the, when we say it's 4 million businesses, who are we actually talking about? Who is alignable for as people? And so here's a great list, right? Alignable is for the owners of small, medium businesses. It's for employees of those businesses. It's for sole practitioners. It's for independent contractors who work, have some sort of relationship with these businesses people who consult with those businesses. It's vendors who build products or services to help you as you run this business. And it's for suppliers who offer the products that you offer to your customers. So really Alignable is for the entire small and medium business ecosystem. Uh, you know, Elon Musk, maybe not so much. Jeff Bezos, if you're on, you can leave. But other than that, most people here are have a reason and a value to being a part of the Alignable community. And Alignable covers absolutely every industry you could think of and probably a whole bunch of them you couldn't. Um, but a lot of people wanna know, like what types of businesses are here? So these are our top 10 industries in no particular order. We've got the real estate industry, health and wellness, everything from doctors, acupuncturists and beyond, contracting, property, home services, we have finance companies, business services, shopping and retail, marketing and advertising, arts and entertainment, everything from bands to painters to venues, food and beverage, restaurants to distilleries, uh, and then automotive and transportation. We have hundreds and hundreds more. Actually, one of the things I've kind of taken on is recategorizing our industries, and I am currently at around number 723 of our top thousand business categories. So, uh, and that wasn't all of them, that was just the top thousand. So trust me, if you are a business, you are on Alignable. So great, 
Alignable is a place for all of these businesses to come together. But what does that mean? And why would you do it? And I think this is one of those things where kind of I, I get a little passionate. So if I get all worked up, I apologize in advance. But I really feel strongly about small business. I, you know, my family has owned small businesses and run small businesses for generations. And small and medium business drives our country and the world's economy. But there is a kind of this constant threat coming from the really big conglomerates, and they seem to be getting bigger. You know, the Amazons, the Googles, Verizons, Bank of Americas, they're getting bigger and bigger. And I think as powerful as the internet has, has been for small business, these bigger businesses have really been able to use it to their advantage to a whole other degree. And so I really, when I came to Alignable, I saw this as an opportunity to take back the web for small business. And I know that's kind of convoluted, so I'll talk about one of my favorite small businesses as an example. So in my town, I live in a town just outside of Boston, Massachusetts, and we have uh, this fantastic hardware store, Wobbin Hardware. Guy who owns it, his name is Al. It's been in his family for over 100 years. He's been working there since he was a teenager. He's like 90-something now. And you can go and walk into Wobbin Hardware and you can ask Al anything. He's known, he knows how to fix anything in all of the old 1920s houses and all these neighborhoods. He's seen everything a hundred times and he will talk your ear off and tell you what to do and tell you why you get this washer instead of that washer, why this paint's going to last longer through the New England winters than that paint. And he's going to be helpful, right? Think about the same thing when you go to Home Depot. I do what my wife always calls the Home Depot shuffle, right? You walk down the aisle with the cart looking for someone in the orange uh, apron and you look down the aisle and no one there and then you like got to back up a few steps and you thought you saw one. No, I'm just a guy with a sweater on. Then you like the next one and you're just going back and forth trying to find help and it's an absolute nightmare. And it sounds kind of obvious, but that is, I think, such a great example of why small and medium business is so important, right? These are the people that are part of our community. And that doesn't necessarily mean they're a local community. They might be part of a, you know, a nationwide community around a particular industry or a category, but they really are care about the customer to a degree that these big guys just absolutely can't. And so that's why I go to Walman Hardware, even though he doesn't have the selection of Home Depot and I'm probably paying a couple of pennies more per nail than I would if I went to Home Depot, but I don't care because I'm gonna have, Al's gonna help me more than Home Depot ever will. But next thing you do is you look at what happens online. And if you go to Google and you start searching for how you might fix something, I'm gonna see something come up from Home Depot and I'm not gonna see anything from Al. Or if I go to Facebook and I start trying to reach a human being, I'm gonna reach someone from Home Depot way before I'm gonna reach someone from Wobbin Hardware. And so the internet has allowed these big businesses to start kind of playing our game, right? They, they are using this to be more accessible than they've ever been right from you know consumers' homes and small business homes as opposed to even having to go into the stores. And so that's when I say, I, it's time to take the web back. It's time to start to use this technology for our benefit in the small business community. So how do we do it, right? Great, hopefully you're all pumped up. You got the blue face paint on, we're, you know, got torches in the air, but like, what do we do? What is the next step? So the first thing is that network I mentioned before. How do we build a network? And what does a network mean? You know, people, if you're, if, if you're a, you know, in corporate America, you've got your professional network of people you've worked with in the past that you might, you know, go on LinkedIn if you're familiar and make your connections. But what does it mean for a business owner, for someone, you know, on Main Street or for someone, a consultant who works with businesses across the country? What does that network look like? And it really is relatively simple. So it starts with, if, especially if you're a local business, it's your neighbors, right? So for Al, it's the karate training dojo on one side of him. It's the frame gal frame it gallery uh, on the other side. It's the restaurant across the street. This is an important group of businesses for him to be in touch with. And it's actually really hard. He comes in really early. He works the cash register. He talks to customers and he goes home at the end of the day. And it's really tough for him to make those connections with even businesses that are right down the street. So it starts, let's connect with them online. And Alignable is the first place where you're going to find all those businesses online. Then it might be his peers. It might be other 
hardware stores across the country. Because trust me, if Al is having a problem or if someone else is having a problem, they've all experienced the same things. But that isn't a network that's really easy to find, build, or use. It's his partners. Maybe he's got local suppliers who supply him with the, some of the things. He sells these beautiful handmade planter boxes, for example. He gets them made by a local company. That would be a great company to keep in touch with on a much more regular basis than just the couple times a year when they come to show him the catalog. What do you want to buy so that you could sell? And then most importantly, customers. You know, a lot of people think of a hardware store as a B2C business, meaning that you sell to just consumers, but most people who own businesses are also consumers. And he also sells things to contractors, plumbers and the like. So he can build this network and you can build a network of all these other businesses for very different reasons. And so once you build this network, the next question is what do you do with it, right? So it starts, it's all about communication. A network is about communicating with them. And these are the different ways you can communicate just in real life, but specifically Alignable makes really, really easy. So direct messages, like a text or an email, but a lot of these guys, you don't have their contact information. You can chat directly with any other member who's a connection of yours on Alignable. You can set up a group chat. This is one of my favorite things. And for example, Al might wanna set up a group chat with all of those other local businesses. Maybe it's the businesses on his in his in your strip mall. Maybe it's in your office building. It's the other businesses if you work in an office complex. Anything that goes on, wouldn't it be great to send a quick message out to all of them? Maybe all of a sudden the lights go out and you're like, hey, is this just me or is this happening to everyone? You could send them a quick message from your phone. Maybe all of a sudden you show up to work one morning and there's this giant dump truck and a backhoe and they're digging up the street and people can't get to your front door and you want to know if everyone's going to come together and call City Hall to do something about it, right? You can also participate in local discussions. So this is a little bit bigger, but everyone in your business community is automatically added to that com business community on Alignable and you can discuss topics. So actually Phil next to me, he lives in Brookline, one town over from where I live and they have... Uh, if you've seen it in a lot of larger metro areas, they have these new bike share programs and Brookline instituted an electric scooter share program. And so there's all these electric scooters just lying all over the place that anyone can pick up, use their, their smartphone, hop on and zip around. Some people love them. You know, we've seen businesses talk about this constantly on local discussions. Some of them say, hey, it's great. I'm really not all that close to kind of the the subway here so people can hop on a scooter and get to me a lot easier than they could before other people are like this is a nightmare they're all over the streets they're getting knocked over people are getting hurt we got to stop this immediately so it's a really interesting place to talk about those local issues you can also broadcast and share information so you can share your products and services hey this is what i'm offering this is what i'm doing you want the local business community to know so that they can tell their customers, they can take advantage. Maybe you can do some sort of co-promotions, which, spoiler alert, is something we're gonna talk about later. And similarly, events and promotions. Do you have a sale going on? Do you, are you hosting an event? And how can you get all these other people involved? So these are all some of the ways you can communicate through the Alignable platform. And then I think one of the most important is teaching and learning. You know, like I mentioned before with Al, he owns this hardware store, but there are hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of hardware stores across the globe going through the same things day to day. And Alignable, what, one of the things we do in our forum is allow you to go and ask questions and you're going to get answers from peers and experts. So maybe Al is really struggling with how he can use Facebook to help reach his customers in a more personal way on the internet. You know what? I guarantee there are hardware stores that have figured it out. And if he can come into Alignable and ask that question and hear both from other hardware stores who've been successful, maybe from social media marketing experts, just get free, helpful advice. He's a step ahead of the game. And all of a sudden now, it's not Home Depot that has the advantage of the internet. It's all of these guys working together to make one another stronger. Al can also share that experience. So let's say he sees someone, another hardware store said, hey guys, like I'm thinking about opening a second location. I don't really know how to fund it. Does anyone, can someone help? Well, maybe Al had already opened a second location and got his financing through the local bank and had a partnership and was, he can write this really great piece of advice, be that helpful ear. 
or that helpful voice rather, and contribute back to the community that he takes from. And that's really what this is all about, is businesses helping other businesses to let each other grow. And that 